Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. So as you all can see, I have already updated my Mac to Mac OS 26 or else you can also call it as Mac OS Tahoe and this is the developer beta version. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about the new features you're going to get in this new OS and how is the new interface. We are going to discuss each and everything. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, the very first thing you're going to notice uh, after the update is obviously the new interface. Uh, you can see uh, dock has changed. You can also check out the app icons. Uh, you can check out the widgets, which is on my uh, desktop. You can see there is a glass effect over there, which Apple calls it as liquid glass. If I go and open control center over here again, you can check out the glass design over there. And if I open settings page, uh, even the window design is changed. Uh, edges are more rounded if you compare it to the previous version. And also there is a slight change in the design of toggle button. It's a bit stretched now. So that's again a small addition. And the next change is uh, instead of control center, you're going to get menu bar option this time. However, the functionality is going to be same. All the options which are present in control center can be seen over here. So yeah, the thing is you're going to see that glass design throughout the new OS. And I think it looks good. Do let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Now let's talk about the new wallpaper. Yes, you do get new wallpaper with this uh, Mac OS 26 or Mac OS Tahoe. And this is how the new wallpaper looks like. Again, it comes with that glass design. And if I turn on the dark mode, this is how it looks in dark mode. So yes, in my opinion, I think it looks good. Let's talk about the next change and that is related to Launchpad. So instead of Launchpad, you're going to see new apps option. If I open it, it will open uh, like window. And yeah, you can check out all the applications over here. You do have categorization. And also if, I, uh, if you go and select this three dot option, you can change it to name. Then it will appear in alphabetical order. Right. So you can check out uh, all the application over here. Now there is one more addition. If you press command plus one, it will showcase all the application. If you press command plus two, it will give you files option. So you can search for your doc documents or files, uh, whatever you want to do. If I press command plus three, you can, uh, you know, assign some shortcut actions over here. And if I press command plus four, you can check out the clipboard history. So yeah, this is again a slight change. And if I again press command plus one, it will take us to application now the next thing is you do get two new application with this update first is magnifier uh, magnifier basically it will help user to zoom in on the surroundings and uh, you can use continuity camera with your iphone so that how it will work i'm going to uh, make a dedicated video on that and the second application is games now you do get a dedicated game application let me open it for you so yeah the application has started and this is how the home page looks like you can continue playing whatever you are playing uh, you have arcade option over here you can uh, you know play together with your friends you have library option as well again i'm going to cover this in future videos so this is new game application for you next is image playground now there is a change in style over there there are some addition if i go and search for image playground so you can see this is the new style option Earlier, only animation, illustration and sketch option was there. But now you do get two uh, more option and that is Genmoji and another one is ChatGPT. So if you select ChatGPT, again, you get multiple options over here. You have any style option, you get oil painting, watercolor, uh, vector, anime, print. You can choose whichever option you want. And if you want a dedicated video on image playground, please let me know in comment section below. Next addition is live translation and you can use this in message as well as FaceTime application. If a person is typing in different language, uh, you can translate it in English or else uh, it can be translated in selected language. Same feature can be used in FaceTime. Now there is a new design change in Spotlight as well. So if I open Spotlight, this is how the new design looks like. You do have a deep search option for apps, files, uh, shortcut action, and you do get clipboard option over here, which is not visible right now. You can see this is a bug. Let me open Spotlight for you once again. So this is the clipboard option. Yeah, I'm not able to access it. So basically over there, you can uh, check out your uh, clipboard history. So this is new Spotlight search. Next is if you go to App Store, there is a small addition of accessibility over there. So if you go and uh, open any particular application and if you go down, you do get accessibility option. Now currently it is saying that the developer has not yet indicated which accessibility feature this app supports. So if you go to other app, if there are any uh, supported features for accessibility, it will be displayed over there itself. You are going to find all the accessibility features over there if this app supports any. So again, this is a new addition. Now the next feature is actually very interesting and I think Apple is calling it as live activities. If you're uh, doing something on your iPhone, you can continue that particular activity on your Mac as well. Now currently you can see uh, nothing is displayed over here. If I try to open notes application on my iPhone, immediately 
I'm going to get a pop-up over here saying that uh, notes from iPhone 15 Pro. So I can continue that particular activity on my Mac. I think this is really a good feature and many people might use it. Next thing is now with this new update, you can change the folder color and you can also add icons or emojis on it. So if I go and select this folder and if I right click, I do get a customized folder option over here. And with the help of this, I can tag it. I can choose the color which I want. I can keep it red. I don't want it. I can choose another color. Uh, you can select this plus icon if you want to add more tags, right? If you don't want to add anything, you can just simply select this particular icon over here and it will remove all the tags. Uh, let's keep it green for now. Now, if you want to add uh, icons, you have multiple options over here. And if you want to add emoji, you can simply go to emoji. Let's look for unicorn and if I add this you can see now I have tagged this folder and I have this emoji or icon on the folder itself so yeah you can now basically change the folder color that's pretty much it for today's video guys there are uh, many videos coming on mac os 26 so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video don't uh, forget to hit that like button as well I will see you all in the next one thank you